so Cats is a movie that I saw with my money. When the movie started, first of all, before I say anything um, about this film, the performances were good. The girls are talented. I just really hate that y'all looked like y'all were being birthed as you were performing because it was just your face and then just like little short hairs surrounding it. The face to cat head proportion was completely off. It was the head, it was like 60% face and like 40% rest of the cat head. Sometimes the cat, the, the, the face didn't move a, like a lining like with the rest of the cat body. Let me just, okay. When the movie first starts, the fact that these niggas are literally cats is jarring the way their bodies move. They do this like shoulder thing when they walk like and you're just watching these human-ish body bodied cats and you're like wow this is really happening to my eyes. You expect it to to stop like you expect it to be over but it's a whole movie. There was a catnip scene and I'm like is are the cats high? The cats are high. They just like there's catnip everywhere. I'm like is this euphoria? Cats the movie is the reason why people hate cats. Cause dogs get all the best movies. Air Bud, Lady and a Tramp, Marley and Me, Dalmatians. With cats we have Catwoman. Oh my God, there is a, someone wrote us, someone took the time. And I don't know if this happened in the play cause I know this is a play. I know that Cats is a show, a live show that they adapted for the movie. Now I don't know if they did this on stage but on tour and on screen, it was terrifying. So there was this roach scene, dancing roaches, and they were in formation and they were flying and they had roach textures, like they had wings. They were synchronized roach performances in this film. So the main girl, she gets abandoned, so someone like drops her off and then that's when she meets the Jellicle Cats. The Jellicle Cats are like the bad bitches, they're like, the fucking jets out there in the cat streets and they're asking her what her name is and she's like my name is Victoria and then they're like no girl uh that's your slave name what's your real name because I guess like cats have like three names or something like that and they all are very strange sounding names and so pretty much the whole movie is just her going from like table to like if you think of like a high school lunch cafeteria and going from like table to table like the cool kids, the criminals, the this person and this person and this group. It's like, that's pretty much what the movie is. She just goes and meets all these different other types of cats. For some reason, Jason Derulo is in this movie, but also it makes sense that Jason Derulo is in this movie because if he was going to be in any movie that wasn't Honey 4, it was gonna be Cats. And somehow he played himself. He was a thought. He had like an R&B sequence. I was like, what is this? Is Neo gonna come out? Where is what's happening? He was just adding all these unnecessary notes and all of these different songs that I couldn't even, for his song in particular, I couldn't understand the words he was saying. I was like, I don't know, Cat Got Tongue or whatever. Speaking of all the cliche cat puns in this movie, Taylor Swift plays like Anna Nicole in this movie. She's supposed to be the sexy one. What? And Taylor Swift is as sexy as a barbecue chip. First of all, these cats had ass. Some, someone, somewhere, Taylor Swift probably went into the editing room and was like, mm -hmm, get me hips. And I understand that they're like he human kind of, but it was weird to see cats with hips. It was weird to see thick cats. Like why the cats got so much ass out here like for what it's photoshop you don't even got a curve in your back it's just a slope it's just a line and then knees jennifer hudson was the best part of this movie she sang her ass off didn't even know that that song was from this movie now i know and so uh i feel like the performances were overshadowed by the fact that the shit looks terrible I did like the tap dancing scene, that was cool. But like I said, it was just like, I can't even really appreciate the singing or appreciate the talent that is here on the screen because you are literally cats dancing in cardigans. So um, if you want to experience a cinematic shit show, highly recommend if you are interested in seeing cats with thigh gaps, Highly recommend. 
I don't know why this movie was made. Y'all let me know what y'all thought if you saw the movie. And let me know. I'm going to do more of these actually on my Patreon. If you are on my Patreon right now, if you are a patron, then you have already seen my Queen of Slim review. The suspense bit? I, I, I almost had a stroke. I, I feel some type of way by everybody that didn't warn me ahead of time. They're like, oh yeah, this is a real fucking tearjerker. I didn't bring no tissues with me. My sleeve wet as fuck um from my own tears and um just in there looking like that little boy i cannot remember his name but that little boy from martin so i really appreciate that they actually like made black people look fucking amazing not that it was that hard considering um we might have we might have to hop from the l to the b and the lgbt is what i'm saying the sex scene it had i was warm i was warm <laughs> Um, I didn't post that one just because Queen of Slim's kind of old now and uh, yeah so on my Patreon we're going to be posting movies that I didn't get a chance to see when they were out uh, when they just came out and that I'm late into the game. See y'all soon. God bless. <laughs> Bye girl.